fish, a denture, or a mackerel wave. Well, there's my G on the CSE. Billy J getting down with the VBA. Oh, my. It's doing an XL time. Stand by. It's doing an XL time. Oh, my. It's doing an XL time. Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jalen from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 182, split data from one cell to appear in two cells. All right, today's question uh, sent in by Tom. Is there a way to easily split the data in one cell to make the data appear in two cells? For an example, 123 Main Street, he wants 123 in one cell and Main Street in another cell or Howard End, Howard and then and uh, I have spent countless hours separating this kind of data. I'd appreciate hearing from your company. Well, there are many, many different ways to do this. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is select all the data, control shift down arrow, and then data text to columns. Text to columns in step one, the data is delimited. It is delimited by a space and then just click finish. Now here's the hassle with this method is that if you have 123 Main Street, it's going to end up in three cells instead of two cells. Oh, Power Query would make this so much easier, but here we are. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out far to the right of the data beyond where everything is spilled. If I am in Office 365, I'm going to use text join, text join that awesome thing. Delimiter is a space, ignore empty cells, true, and then uh, the cells that I want to concatenate together like that. And I just copy all of those down, control V, I will copy, control C, and then home, paste, paste as values. And at this point, I can delete these three extra columns. Uh, but no one has Office 365, right? So if you don't have Office 365, you're going to have to do equal this thing. Amp quote space quote ampersand that and if there were more keep going in this case it's pointless because there's nothing over in D but you get the idea control C copy it down to the last row of data control V and then control C alt E S V to make those be values and there we are all right Mike let's see what you have thanks Mr. Excel hey you lobbed me an easy one here because you already mentioned get and transform power query the old text to columns only allows you to say a space at every character right well if we use power query we can use that delimiter and say hey just split at the first occurrence now in order to get this data into the query editor we have to convert it to an excel table so i go up to insert table or i use control t my table has headers OK button is highlighted so I can click it with my mouse or just hit Enter. Now I want to name this table, so I'm going to come up here, Original Data, and Enter. Now this is an Excel table. We can come up to Data, and there it is, From Table. That will bring it from Excel into the editor. The column is selected, Home Ribbon Tab. We can say Split Column by Delimiter, or come over here and right click. Split column by delimiter. From the drop down, we can say, hey, use a space. And look at this at the left most delimiter. When I click OK, boom, there it is. Now I'm going to name both of these columns. Double click, part one, enter. Double click, part two, and enter. Now I can come up here, close and load. Close and load to, and I can choose where to put this. I definitely want to dump it as a table, new worksheet, existing worksheet. Highlight this, click the Collapse button. I'm going to say D1, click OK, then click Load. And there we go, our Power Query output. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Whoa, Mike, Power Query is awesome. Yeah, that's a great way to go. Uh, here's another one that it might work if you have Excel 2013 or newer. Uh, what we're going to do is come out here and say first part and then second part. Make sure to put these headings in. If you don't put those headings, they don't have to be that, but they have to have headings or it's not going to work. I'll put 123 
and Main Street and then we'll put Howard and end like that. Now that we have a nice little pattern there, come out here to the Data tab and Flash Fill, which is Control E, press Control E right there, and then press Control E right there. The beautiful thing is we don't have to concatenate data together like in my example. All right, Mike, back to you. Ding, ding, ding. That is the winner. Without a doubt, Flash Fill is the way to go here. Notice we didn't have to convert it to a table or open up any dialog box, just typed a few examples and then control E. All right, well, we could do it with formulas, even though flash fill would probably be faster. Well, look at this. The pattern, just like Mr. Excel used over in flash fill, is everything before the first space and then everything after. So hey, I'm going to use the left function. The text is right there. And how many characters from the left? Well, I'm going to search for that space, one, two, three, four using the search function. Find text, a uh, space in double quotes, comma within that. Now, notice that search would count on its fingers, one, two, three, four, and that would get to that space. And I don't want that space, so I subtract one. Close parentheses, Control, Enter, double click, and send it down. So that always gets everything before the first space. Now, notice we already have the text here, so I can use the substitute function. The text I'm going to look through is the full data, comma, the old text I want to look for and then substitute nothing in is almost 1, 2, 3. I actually want to add the space, which I just took out in the previous formula, back in. Now it'll look for 1, 2, 3, space, and then Howard space and so on comma, and then the new text I want to substitute in. Well, to tell substitute that you want to replace it with nothing, you say double quote, double quote, no space in between. Close parenthesis, and that will work. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. All right, let's throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, all right, Mike, both of your methods were awesome. Let's do a quick wrap up here. My first method, using text to columns, step one, choose delimited. Step two, choose a space and then click finish. The problem is that if you have multiple spaces, it's going to end up in multiple cells. So I had to put those back together. Office 365, text join, or the old B2 ampersand quote space quote ampersand C2, uh, and so on. Mike, use Power Query. It's known as Get and Transform in Excel 2016, or uh, in earlier versions 10 or 13, you download it and use the Power Query tab. I even learned. Uh, something here, but first you convert your data using Control T, then from table, split column, by delimiter, uh, choose the delimiter as a space, and then at once at the leftmost delimiter. I didn't know you could rename a column by double clicking. I've been right clicking and renaming all this time and being uh, a little annoyed at that. That will save me a lot of time. And then not close and load, but close and load two and choose a new spot on the worksheet. My second method was flash fill. Now that is great if you have Excel 2013 or newer. Uh, just type the headings, it won't work without the headings. Type a pattern for the first two rows. Go to the first blank cell and press Control E in each column. And then Mike's method. Well, sure, that was longer. It is a must if you have something before Excel 2013 because you can't use Flash Fill. Maybe in 2010 you can use Power Query. Uh, just uh, add some new columns over there at the left of A2 and then search. Look for the space and subtract one to get rid of that space. For the second part, substitute, I was going to use a, a equal mid or something like that, but this is even better because you already know what you want to take out. You want to take out B2 in the space and replace it with nothing. That was awesome. All right, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun. It's Dueling Excel time.